Gerber Cash is a batch-driven, double-entry general ledger. Now, that's a mouthful. What does it mean? A general ledger is a logbook, like a ship captain's log. It tells us where we have been. It's a bit more complicated than that because it gets written up in a complicated language. If you're not familiar with these terms, hang in, because every business needs a general ledger. And if you already have a general ledger, chances are you still need TurboCash. Now you may be thinking I can get around this, I don't need to learn a new system in my already crowded life. You will be mistaken, it is not called a captain's log for nothing. Unless a CEO has a full grasp of the ledger and the information it provides, a business is rudderless, has not feedback and will likely plow into the first rocks that cross its path. Sure you can win a lottery and never have to use a general ledger, but for the other 99% of us a general ledger is a vital part of business. A double entry system follows the convention started over 500 years ago by the Italian Renaissance merchants. Every transaction is loaded as a debit and a credit, and these debits and credits must then be in balance. This simple convention makes it much more difficult to lose a transaction and makes it much easier to find one if you're looking for it. A batch system is one in which transactions are entered in batches. This is equivalent to the terminology of sub-ledgers. It can be quite a, a job dealing with a large set of transactions, but by breaking them into batches, they become much more manageable. Typically, batches would consist of 50 transactions or less, and each match must balance. If each batch balances, then the whole ledger balances. In the real world, it's really easy to make typo errors and transcription errors. The batch system offers us the opportunity to review and correct and even delete transactions. We can make these changes quite liberally until the moment we want to post the transactions to the ledger. At this point, TurboCash will make some validation check on the batches, namely date checking to make sure that all the dates entered in are part of a valid year, this year or last year, Check that transactions must balance for each period as well as the whole batch must be in balance. Check that all transactions are going to be valid accounts. TurboCast is a built intelligence to check that your transactions don't violate accounting rules, like simple posting from one bank account to another, which will knock your bank reconciliation out of balance. The TurboCash batch system can really help you to get things done. Batch entry allows you to import a previously posted batch. In most businesses each month repeats certain transactions, like you pay rent every month, or you pay the same payroll of employees every month. TurboCash allows you to import a previously posted batch. You can then make a few changes to the dates and correct any numbers that require change and simply post with the new numbers. The ability to post and unpile batches is a feature of TurboCash, and it can happen that even after you've checked a batch, validated it, posted it, that you realize you've made errors. Traditional practice is that you need to reverse the post of batch with alternative transactions. Do this a few times and you end up with spaghetti in your ledger. With TurboCash, you can unpost a given batch and redo it. Now, this may raise the eyebrows of old world accountants who learned about immutable transactions, but the idea that one batch is posted and should never be undone will prevent fraud. But think about it. If you wanted to cheat a set of accounts, you could simply go back to a backup and re-enter new, the new fraudulent batch. TurboCash offers a number of ways for you to do double entry, to double down on your security. You can turn off the ability to unpost batches for a user, and you can follow a log of batch processing by time and by user. You can implement our blockchain plugin that will make transactions immutable. So if you're a single user, then posting and unposting batches is going to make life a lot easier for you. And since TurboCash 5.2, we've now introduced a spreadsheet component that makes it a lot easier to deal with incoming batches. Work with them as a spreadsheet, and when you're ready to import them into TurboCash, do so for posting. 